<gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, it's San Francisco, and this is la 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 la. Let's play freaking Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Please go to the website in the description and buy my music. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've already seen this cutscene, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Ladies and gentlemen, I ever told tell you the story about the time that I had to call the Google Tech team to help me figure something out that w wasn't a problem to begin with? I'm trying to run this guy off the road! Oh, you can't. You can't run him off the road. You can't. You can't. They bite back. They got teeth like a tiger. And eyes like a rodent. So anyway, let's go ahead and drive up there. Look how fast these things are, dude. It's ridiculous. Crazosity right now. Cray cray girl. Oh, and you can't. Oh, well, I just spun him out. Can I spin you out? Yes! Dude, if, if we have more than one lap, I'm just going to push them off the side and into the river. It's not my fault that they can't drive. It's my fault that. Well, no, it's not my fault. Nothing. Hopefully, this will get our driving skill up a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, and we can go. Yeah, there's. That's the other race I think I was thinking about. Oh, my God. Please don't die. Oh, God. Oh, God. The other race is at that uh, auditorium place you know you know what I'm talking about where you got to get a better driving skill like you can't saw it you know what I'm talking about back at Grove Street you no know saying right behind our house that's the other one yeah so we're gonna definitely do that because I want that monster truck I love that monster truck I want it and I can't wait to get a rhino tank I don't know oh oh yeah now I remember this race we got to go through farmlandville playing farmville ha ah! so let's go ahead <laughs> thank you Toby oh get over that thing yeah, girl. Oh, uh, you like that? Oh, God. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm probably going to not do that next time because I'll probably screw it up. Oh, man. So, this isn't so bad. It's not too terrible. As long as you don't run into any signs, it's not too terrible. Well, until I say that and my car almost flips over. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get the heck to where we need to go. Maybe there isn't two laps on this. Maybe it's just this one thing. I, I, I'm not big on lap races, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what it is about having to do something twice that really grinds my gears. Same way with like Mortal Kombat. I don't like playing two rounds to win one match in Mortal Kombat. I prefer to win or play one round and whoever wins, wins. You know, That's the way I like to do it. But I, I, I don't know. Some people don't. Some people like it the other way. Like It was meant to be played with two rounds and all that stuff. And I don't know. I'm just, it's not my cup of tea. And those guys are just now getting to the bridge. They suck. I am the best driver in this game. And I need my driving skill to go up, please. Why is it going straight? Oh, God. Oh, that's Ozzy Osbourne again. I hear it. Yeah. Everybody loves that song. Like I said, if I ever hung out with Ozzy, I would talk to him about this song and how this was probably his best song he ever did. It's amazing. I mean, the No More Tears album was great. I'm coming Mama, I'm coming home. That was his ballad. That was his, that was his baby. That was everything that was Ozzy Osbourne was in that song. So... And I don't, I don't even know if Ozzy liked that song. Like, I've never heard of an interview with Ozzy that said, like, he liked Mama, I'm Coming Home. He may have despised that song for all I know. Zach may have been like, yo, we're doing this song. I got bigger biceps, we're doing it. But for all, for all I, know, and I don't know. But we just won, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? So, now we're two. Now we gotta wait on another phone call. The pain's not... I, I couldn't say that. Oh, yeah. I don't want it. Style, Carl Johnson. Hey, baby. Is that your phone number? Thanks, huh? willing to push himself right to the edge. As for me, I'm a man who honors his bet. Good thing. Well, you learned pretty fast with the police on your ass. <laughs> Listen, it's best if we clear the hell out of here as soon as possible. Because thanks, straight. For some reason, the local police don't appreciate our noble sport. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for the advice. They're crazy, man. They need to get with the 21st century. Uh, you know what? If you ever find yourself in San Fierro, give me a call. Maybe we can do a little business together. I'm down with the business girl, and I'll be down with the business with that girl. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's our wake up call. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too, woozy. I'll see you in San Fierro. Who just called me? Grandmother. Did you catch here that ring? I didn't. All right, mission pass. Oh, we got another race. Are you joking? Please don't be another race. Where's my car? I just want a car, and now you're gonna take it from me? Oh, I don't think so, babe. Oh, I don't think so. Okay, maybe it's just a regular mission. Farewell, my love. Oh man, don't make me cry. There he is again. Fido, what are you doing, ma'am? 
Hey, sugar. Oh. Now. Yeah, what I do now? So this is where you've been, eh? What's what's this is how you repay my tenderness? We broke you up prefer the curves of some car to those of a real woman. Look, Kevin, well, it's this kind of a thing. I prefer guitar curves, but I would choose this was the order of curves, uh guitar, car, then the road, and then a woman. <laughs> there you go. Hey, those are my headlights! Oh wait, hang on a second. It's too late. I don't love you no more. Oh well. I love another, okay? Well, that, that was fast. You must really live in the 21st century. I cannot keep my passions hold up. They need a release. That was a good release. Like hitting a man with a frying pan while he sleeps. Uh, this car? That's dark. This is my new man. What's up, man? Did you have fun in GTA 3? I had fun in GTA 3. It's nice to see you again. All right, bring it on, chick. You're gonna lose. I promise. Dude, I love how he just doesn't freak out when Carl just badmouths his girl. He's so calm. He never said a whole word in the entire GTA 3 series, and it looks like he's not gonna be saying another, no, any other words in GTA San Andreas. So, not that I'm complaining, but I feel like Fido would have a lot to say, you know. Oh, oh, oh! I win! I am winning! This is me winning! Did you see that drift, baby? Dude, this Tokyo's got nothing on this. Tokyo's got nothing on this. I am the Tokyo Drifter. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get in the lead. Get in the gate and lead. Gate in the lead. Well All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We can do this. We can... Shut up, Carl. Man, I was a little late on that response, but come on. Give me a break. Give me a break. This transfer truck started running up the road, which it successfully did. And that's going to be back in front of me again. Dude, let him go off the rails. I don't care. Maybe he'll hit one of our friends. Get out of the way. Uh, now this is like a, the same circuit, just in reverse, ladies and gentlemen. In case you didn't notice. I just noticed. I didn't know that before. So. We are making some sick progress, I can tell you that much. We really are making a lot of progress in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Like, that's no joke. I'm not trying to mess with you. We're about to get to San Fierro, which San Fierro, I feel like that's where the bulk of the game takes place. But, you know, there's a little bit of stuff to do in, uh, oh, oh, oh God, oh, that was close. And there's a little bit of stuff to do in uh, Las Venturas, mostly dealing with gambling and upper-level upper, upper level crime stuff, but nothing, like, San, San Fierro is where, is where most of the mission bulk is, so. And we're almost there. I think we go to San Fierro right after this. Maybe. I, don't, I, don't, I think. Something like that. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we are not hitting that jump again. I'm sorry, you could not pay me to hit that jump again. Whoa! Who put those there? I want to know, because they're going to get fired. Well, if they, i got to hire them first. Then I'll fire them. Then they'll take me to jail, probably. Oh, God, not the good time to spin out. I know we're I know we're doing good, but still, I just, I'm just a little nervous. Because those, those cars were kind of fast off the start this time, compared to the last time. But this thing, hand, hand brakes like you wouldn't believe, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is smooth. And it's probably, the other reason it's probably really smooth is because I've been playing GTA 5 and, you know, if anyone's ever went from San Andreas to 5, you've got a rude awakening. But if you go from 5 to San Andreas, you realize it's, well, <laughs> the driving in San Andreas was really easy compared. So really, it's just, it's just like uh, growing up, going to a new league or something like that. You know, not too complex. But I think we got this taken, ladies and gentlemen, because if you remember, this one started right around this corner, so we're pretty much already done. Just stay calm. You know, the, for whatever reason, the turtle wins the race. If the rabbit had some discipline about him, obviously the rabbit would have won. But because the rabbit was a careless idiot, it's the only reason the rabbit lost. So, better safe than sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But at the same time, you need to hit the gas. You cannot mess around. And here's the ending. Alrighty. What do you know? Made it. We win again. Do I get another five grand for that one? Did I get the exact same time? I feel like I got the exact same time. I don't know. All right, how much more? What more do I have to do? We only have five minutes left in the recording, ladies and gentlemen. Man, they went by. You had the unfair advantage. Being a I did. Driver ain't no unfair advantage. You think you're clever, but it is you who is missing that point. Oh, getting Not sassy with me. Was he racing, but he was satisfied, fully. What are you going to say about that? <laughs> 
What? Hmm. The advantage of a stick ship, I guess. Oh! Yeah, whatever. Anyway, man, what is it? Cash he done away with the stick ship. There you go. Goodbye, Mr. Johnson. I will not be missing you. Hey, wait a minute, bitch. What is this shit? They did to a garage in San Fierro. My lover needs his car so we can go to Liberty City. Liberty City? That's not exactly what we... Yeah, whatever. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's proof. I will. Fine. Okay. Go. I ain't gonna miss you. Goodbye. Uh. See you, man. See you, GTA 3. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We got, what, three minutes left-ish? Let's go ahead and, uh... I think we can go to San Fierro now. Actually, no. Let's get out. Because I'll probably get a phone call telling me I can go to San Fierro. Okay, I'm gonna start. Well, I need to. I need to save my game. To be honest with you, uh, where's the nearest? Oh, I don't want to save it at her spot. Dang it! We just broke up, and now I'm going back to her house. She's gonna make think think I'm some kind of weakling. In that movie, in that friend seeking a friend for the end of the world. The <laughs> Kira Knightley says, "Better to sleep on the fire escape than have pity sex." That's what I always say. <laughs> That gets me every time. She's funny in that movie. Now I love her hair. Her hair is so thick in that movie, but it's so short. I love it. It's great. There's that phone call I've been waiting for. What's that? Hey, Carl, dude. Now I got the little mama you're after. But be careful, man. People are listening to us. I got Dang a straight. green village up in the hills. A green yeah. village up in the hills? Yeah, I bet oh, that's man, not code at all. You. I don't know you. Prank caller, prank caller. Oh my god, that was a- Oh, dude! That was all Pulp Fiction! Oh my god! Whenever the dude calls, like, in Pulp Fiction, Samuel L. Jackson, who has actually a voice, he was Tenpenny, is in the freaking movie. And what happened was, his friend, who's John Travolta, he, uh, they're taking- He took Marcellus wife- Marcellus Wallace's wife out. John Travolta did. Uh, v-, v Victor- No, Vince- Vincent- took his uh his wife out and she OD'd on heroin. You're not supposed to snort heroin, but she OD'd on heroin. Well, the thing was where Josh Volta got the drugs from, whenever she OD'd U Uma Thurman is the the chick by the way. Whenever she OD'd, he called her the guy the drug dealer and he said, The girl man, she's OD'ing on me and he's like, Well take her to a hospital. He's like, I can't take her to a hospital, I'll bring her to your place and he goes Wait, are you on your way here right now? He goes, yeah, I'm in the car. <laughs> and then the drug dealer goes, are you calling me on a cell phone? <laughs> then right then he goes, uh, I don't know you, prank caller, prank caller. And I hung up, so that's that's where that comes from. <laughs> that is great. But the cool thing, the drug dealer, the guy, I wish I knew his name in the movie, but he was in Anaconda with Ice Cube and... Uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez. Yes, that's. They were there and they just fought the snakes and it was it was great. The only thing is the the guy, he didn't get much camera time because as soon as like the movie started, he got this wasp in his throat, and that is like the worst. Like, oh my god, that would be horrible. So the whole movie, like he's asleep. But yeah, that's him. So ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have time for today. Good job, Sam. Good recording session. Good times all around. Go to the website in the description. There is links to buy all the music you hear on my original or Sam Rye Francisco music channel. You can buy all the music there. Well, not all of it. There, I haven't put the first album up or the demo up. And y'all don't. I don't know if that would be wise to do that. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I have to get more. I have to get people that actually want to buy it first. But the album, It's Not Me, It's You, is up if you want to go buy it, ladies and gentlemen. Please be my guest. Thanks for watching. Hit that support button if you want to on any other channel. I think uh, music has it, and I know this one has it. So hit that fan support button, man. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you cats and kittens tomorrow. We are probably going to do four episodes tomorrow. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next episode. Peace.